me when I say this, we are exactly one week away from Christmas Day. If you find that a little overwhelming, we are here to help you. Our three chefs are on hand to help take care of all the food for the big day. So please welcome Chef Randy Feltis, <laughs> Yes, it's good to have him back. So, I mean, the first thing we need to discuss is, do you have a tried and true thing that you do with your turkey, because it's all about this turkey, to make sure that it turns out? What do you do to make sure your turkey is a beautiful thing? I, I, I think whatever you do, whatever method you're going to do, you have to brine. You got to brine. Because it's all about the preparation. He's I know like, like, no. he's going to fight, and that's fine. We'll throw it down. But <laughs> if you have the opportunity to, to flavor it, number one, yes. and make it more tender, then your margin of error is like less. So even if you overcook it a little bit, it's still going to be like, oh, what did you do? This is delicious. Got it. Because right? you just put that, you infuse that flavor in like right this, from the start. And it just makes it a little bit more tender. And then when you hit it like mm. perfectly, right where it should, yeah. it, people's heads actually explode. They're like, that was the best <laughs> thing I ever tasted in my life. It's incredible. OK, Jay, you say no. Well, I just, like, you know, what is the holidays all about it's tradition yes you know the classics did they brine things a hundred years ago I don't think they brine things a hundred did they know. deep fry them did they smoke them I they took know. the beautiful bird they rubbed it with some butter they sung to it they hugged it a little bit <laughs> you know? and the stuffing was in the bird not cooked oh, separately know. you know we now do we, it separately what we do too. is we, we do half the stuffing inside yes. half separate so you get dry and, and the soft and, the and soft. then you mix it Okay. But classic. You do the classic, classic. traditional. Okay, Massimo, you're no in the middle slow, here. But like... you know what I mean? Uh, the turkey in those days was like this. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, some people still like it that way because if they see right. juices run, they say it's not cooked enough. Yeah, you that's know, true. I've had that experience. Me, I like to roast the whole turkey like this. I keep the stuffing outside. I used to do it with the stuffing inside because that's tradition. Yeah. I like it deboned, but you know what I do mm. at home? In order to maintain a beautiful color, golden skin, mm -hmm. I use cheesecloth. Okay. And cheesecloth oh, is the best friend. Tricky. And as somebody showed me this, and I really, really liked it because, you know, I put it on just like that. It looks like you're ready to marry okay. it. Yes. yes. <laughs> That's very sweet. But then it's I melt one liter of white wine. Okay. okay. With one pound of butter. Yeah. Oh. Yes. See? And then what I do is I just baste it. Every once oh. in a while, I just go over it like that. So it's a drunken oh, turkey. Bag. Yes, of oh. course. Oh. This is going Even the turkey's yeah. happy yeah. right now. When the turkey exits the oven, yes. it's this color, it's beautifully golden, yes. and then the sauces that you have, you just make a gravy with it. You know? Nice. I like that. All right. You yeah. heard the turkey tips from our three chefs. Now we put it out to two more pros. Here's what Gordon Ramsay and Bobby Flay had to say on prepping oh, oh. the big bird. Uh, definitely a brine. brine. No brine. Oh. You trying to piss me off? Fresh. Fresh. That's how could you ask me that question? <laughs> Absolute stuffing. Uh, dressing, which means the stuffing is on the side. Yeah, take the breast off and cook the legs separate. You could cut your turkey in half. You could butterfly it and cut the turkey in half if it's too big for the oven, for sure. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Defrost it. <laughs> I mean. That's what you do. I mean, yeah, there's no getting around it. So controversial. All good point. Yeah. Right? Everyone um, definitely has a preference. So uh, we're <laughs> going to get you, Randy, to prepare turkey to suit different styles. Because there are different ways to make a turkey. And you have a few of them out here now. Like, my eyes are dancing. <laughs> well, that. listen, the, <laughs> only, the only tradition in my house is not to do the same. Okay. So we change it up every you time, and then you know what? And then people get to vote. They'd be like, I really like that turkey you did a few years ago. Well, I don't care about your opinion. I can do this <laughs> right? But if I like you and you give me a good present, then maybe we'll talk next maybe year, we'll talk. right? So check this one out. This is like the, the showstopper. You bring this out. This is a bacon-wrapped turkey. So you it's have the beautiful. bacon lattice. I mean, like, that's a home run. You bring that out in front of people. You open it up, and you carve that, and everyone's like, what is going on? So we got Massimo down here, because we know that Massimo yes. used to braid his sister's hair yeah, with her really love, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, Matt, you, might, you know, this is a this is a you know program. Yes. We're being tired uh, here. You got to step it up a little bit, all right? You know what? That's you know, actually like, that that's a good little lesson right there. Yes, the way you're, um, right so you got to flip it under, over, under, over, sort of under, situation. Over, under, over. It's a little weave. Yes, it's a little and, weave. And, and you don't want to pay staff for this either. No. 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 It's a little basket <laughs> weave. 
But it's a nice thing you do with the kids. You just put that down on large <laughs> parchment paper and away yeah. you go. And he knows the technique. He knows He's got three that. up, three down. Yeah. Keep folding it. He's, He's got nice and tight. All right. You want to get the thicker bacon and the lightly cured stuff so it doesn't shrink. Got it. Right? Mm. So that's the stuff you want to do. And then you roast it like 325 degrees, low and slow, so the bacon just kind of mm. melts and then the fat goes yeah. in. It's like, wow, that's happy. That's, that's good beautiful. times. Right? That's good looking beautiful good. bacon hat. Yep. So then the next thing, maybe you're <laughs> bacon hat. <Yeah. laughs> okay. That is a nice <laughs> so the next thing is maybe you you find that a little complicated to cook because you know the stuffing and the legs and everything else. So what yeah. I did here is I did a spatchcock. What does so that I mean? I boned oh, yes, it baby. out completely. You could ask your butcher to do it. And then I boned a duck out and I put the duck inside. And so then you deboned you deboned the both, turkey, right? the duck, and then I actually deboned a couple quail. Oh, and I put the quail inside, turkey. so it's a turduck oh, a kale. Yeah. Oh, turduck, turduck quail. quail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. But this is rock and roll because you show up and everyone's like, "Well, that's a good-looking bird, I guess." It's little, you know what I mean? Yep. And you bring it out to the table and you get your thing. You're like everyone hungry. The carving is yeah. just done because you just go right down the middle. There's no bones There's no in there. Bones. And then. Oh. oh. Now you also could put some chilies in there. You could put some different flavors that's in there, good. some garlic. But that's Brandy. like, yes. That's amazing. Uh, you know what? I'm roll this over. Oh <laughs> uh, no! Here we go. So here we go. <laughs> so just put it down that way. And yeah, then, that's you it. know, that's like that. Oh, that's this is the tough part. Roll it. Roll, roll, it. roll it. Oh, it's rolling, beautiful. Rolling, rolling. Come on. Let's see if and it works. What is that, Tracy? Oh. That is a oh, big it's a big 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 all in the technique of putting it on. Now maybe the tradition isn't bacon, maybe it isn't the turduck quail, maybe yeah. you want to simplify it even more. Have your butcher break it right down. So he takes the breast down, he takes the legs off yes. the thighs, the drumsticks, and then you go, because your kitchen's not that big and you have all your sides going on, yeah. you take it out to your smoker. Ooh. And you smoke it, you put it on the Traeger. Shall we? Yes, yeah. Yeah. shall we? Ooh. Oh. Maple syrup. That's you know, what you, you get a little maple syrup, little wow. spice, little smoke. Stop little, slicing. This is going to be good. This is going to be good. And then the beautiful thing about this is you never really take it too hot. You take it at like 220 for like okay. four or five hours, so it nearly never gets overcooked. Okay. That's one piece, right? That's one, one, one piece. One and then, you know, Obviously. the kids are going to grab that. If somebody's uh -huh. acting up, you can hit them in the side of the head with the drumstick. <laughs> like, smart enough. Yes. Right? <laughs> but then, look at this. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh that's gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. So much That's beautiful. Ready to go. Oh, beautiful. Nice. Are you salivating? I'm salivating. Mm. Um, so, would you ever put the whole? Maybe this is a dumb question, but would you ever just put the whole turkey in and smoke it, or is it just better if you break it down oh, first? Oh, sure, yeah. Could that's, you? that's another one, but it's just it depends on your skill level, right? Yeah. And this is basically as easy as it's going to get. Got it. Right, and that's like the guys like to get out in the grill and it's like, yeah. here, go be busy and take a six pack and we'll see in a few hours. Everything's going to get cooked. Right. Everything's going to get cooked. But yes. you remember that the breasts and the legs are going to cook differently too. So if you can yeah. break it down, you can put the legs in a little bit earlier, and then you can do the breast. Right. You know, so it's good for timing. Yeah, okay. that's why everybody yeah. wants to break. I don't know. Do you guys have a favorite? <laughs> bacon. Bacon's all yes. good. Bacon hat. Bacon hat. Bacon hat. Bacon hat. Bacon hat. Bacon hat. It's my favorite hat.